welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Circle Empires. It's by Luminous and Iceberg Interactive. It released on August 8th, 2018. And you guys can snag it for 10% off if you grab it before August 15th, 2018. So, they sent this over a few days ago. I've been scrambling to try to get some stuff done. It's been a crazy week. Anyway, we're going to play it now. I, I missed the release day by a couple days. It's okay. It's going to be a lot of fun. I it, it looked like a lot of fun. I haven't tried it yet, so this is my first hands-on experience and um, impressions and all that wonderful fun stuff. So, let's see what we got. We got Wolfham, the warlord, never let his guard down, has perfect building watchtowers, or perfected building watchtowers. He starts with three hundred wood, and each claimed circle gets two towers, or Wilberforce the Wizard. Uh, loves reading books and casting fireballs. Make sure his soldiers uh, train regularly. 400 gold and one additional training dummy. Then we have Bog the Barbarian. I like it. So W and W, W and W, and B and B. Alright, cool. A man of few words and many axes. Each newly conquered circle draws more warriors to his side. Extra food and three axe throwers. Yeah, we're going to go with the Barbarian. Because Barbarians are awesome. Okay, we've got a few different options here. We have Monster Hunt. Find the opponent and defeat it to win. Taking over all the other circles is not required. Then we have the Fool Conquest. Conquer all the circles to win. That sounds deadly. Or Imperial Conflict. Compete against AI-controlled empires to take over the entire world. They have world domination plans. Uh, let's start simple. We'll go that route, and then we'll see how it all progresses. There's a pretty good chance I'm going to be awful at this, but that's okay. We have Magor the Monster. He is a giant warrior chief leading an army of thugs. His immense size has earned him a dreadful reputation. One swipe with his giant weapon is enough to send men flying. And there will be nine circles. I'm probably gonna go with normal, but let's see what easy has to offer. This is great for people who are new to strategy games. Nope. The recommended settings for first time players who have played a few strategy games before. Losing is very unlikely, but it is not a free victory either. That's got my name written all over it. This will be fairly challenging. Win a game to unlock, win a game on extreme to unlock, or win a game on nightmare to unlock. Well, let's go see if we can't go about winning a game. Find the opponent and defeat it to win. Taking over all the other circles is not required. Zoom in and out with a mouse scroll, move around with WASD, and middle mouse a Bhutan, and circles with blue flags belong to you. <sighs> Alright guys and gals, let's see how rusty my, my TBS skills are. Actually, sorry, RTS skills. Storehouse, needed for gathering resources. Oh, I should probably do something with that. Yeah. Go, little farmer people. Go. Oh, gosh. There's people over there. Kill them with fire. Um. Uh. Paid in food. Paid wood. Uh. Can you guys chop some trees? It looks like they're just gathering food at this point. How do I get them to not gather food and to gather trees? I don't know. Can I send people over to, like,. Do murder. I'm going to try to go do murder. I don't know how to do that, though. Ah, let's go into... Oh, oh, they're shooting me with lots of hatred. This seems like a really bad plan. I feel like maybe maybe I shouldn't do this. Hey, hey. Oh, God. Oh, God, they keep shooting. Uh, I, I, I wasn't ready. Yeah. More murder and mayhem. We've done it now. We've definitely done it now. Yeah, go across. Go, my little axe throwing peasantry. Yes, take over the storehouse. Make them suffer. Alright, that was, uh, not the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm okay with it, though. I'm okay with it. 
it's not a good start. Not a good, not a good feel here, but again, it's okay. We have another axe thrower, and we found the hostile enemy. Oh, we have more stuff up here. I didn't even notice these things. I'm bad at doing my job. Oh, cool. There's, um, how do we know what strength we have? They have a very hostile and high strength. These have a, these both have weaker strengths. All right. Well, I think I'm going to put my army back over on this side. Um, wood rubble. Oh, stuff regrows. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, guys. Do, do you. Harvest a pumpkin. Or, or build, what is that? Harvested for 180 food. It grows bigger in, in time, or with time. Attack the monsters! I'm sure we're, we're very aquatic ourselves, so this is going to be totally fine. And not problematic in any way. Kill them! Kill them with fire and other things that are more impressive than fire. Bonus resources from kills? What? Oh, I, if I get a place that inside my, my town healer. Why are we not killing things? Come on, guys. Power to me. Yeah, we can do fish things. I don't know what the guys are going to do. All oh, those barbarians are a little bit stronger than we are. All right, let's go over here into the monster realm. Uh, is he doing something? I can't tell if he's doing something. There's another hostile empire. Did all the monsters die? Oh, no, they're sleeping. I can't see, though. Oh, no. The monsters are here. Like, I, I assume they're doing something over here. I, I don't know what they're doing, but, like, I, I have to assume it's something. You're definitely not ready for battle, buddy. But I appreciate the, uh, the eagerness. Hey, where'd my pumpkin go? I need more trees, like, desperately. Alright, you guys do whatever it is that you're gonna do here. Oh good, it doesn't select my, my other guys. Um, do we see like a, a level of strength somewhere? Oh, we gain experience too with our guys. Oh, that's cool. Okay, the selected strength of our guys is 650. So this is probably going to go pretty not well. Let me go with a couple of knights. Some more archers in the back line here. I'm going to go for a bit of the merds. It's going to be fine, probably. Get in there, boys. Oh no, our watchtower died. Is there a way to build a new watchtower? We have so many ranged units. Attack things. We have like all archer. Oh, there we go. I'm like, where are all our melee guys? We did it. We've ruled the, the roost. Still need trees, it seems. All right, a healer. We need 500 gold. Uh, we almost have 500 gold. That seems good. A wizard, an apprentice, and a red dragon. I like that. I like that. All right, our food supply is going okay. Our wood supply is actually going fairly decently, honestly. It, the pumpkin spoke to me. Can you guys, like, let it grow? No? They're, they're like, nope, sorry. Alright, this hasn't really increased in strength much. We're going to throw a healer into the fray here. I don't know if he's going to actually be able to heal anything. I, I do have my hopes, though. Alright, boys, you guys ready? Let's go attack the next... We're not, like, getting assaulted by this. No, no we're okay. Attack! Attack my axe throwers, attack! Do long division and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. I am ready. 
Okay, so we're, we're going... Oh my goodness. Oh, this just like spawned an overlord or something. That, that looks terrifying. I wonder what kind of cool, amazing thing we would get if we were able to conquer such a, a beastly beast. Oh man, my hand is killing me. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. Um, what's our level at? 1200? Yeah, we don't stand a chance against that. Oh, sorry, it didn't just spawn. I thought it was this area. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. I don't think I'll be going over there, though. That is the place that has all the trees that we need to get to to actually get more trees and to do more things. And This seems like a just bad plan all around for me. Oh, God. We have an attack. Charge. Charge. We need guards. Slow their roll. You can do it, I believe. Oh. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, so you... Frost tower. Okay. I don't even know what that does. There we go. So if we click not on people, but on like the actual thing, or oh, okay, we can do the little arrow. Oh, wait, wait, we can do upgrades for our people. See, look at that. I'm learning stuff as we go. Well, they just wounded themselves. I think we just won, basically. They just pretty much crippled themselves. There's no way they can stand to us at this point. So look at that. Our first attempt, and it looks like a, a victory, I think. Right? We defeated all other hostile things? That means we win, right? That's like a GG. Look at them all. They're all just walking around like, yeah, what's going on? Alright, so we'll be gathering a bit more food. You guys don't really have anything to do, do you? Alright, how about you come over here? Was bigger and oh that's that's what we can okay that makes total sense put you guys there I still don't think you guys are actually doing anything I'm gonna take you out of this place so if I build some pumpkins here and they grow bigger then I can come back and actually... Oh, they they level up. I, I love it. That's that's ingenious. I'm... I'm not sure. Maybe this is a boss? Like, obviously it is, right? Like, But, like, is this who I have to kill? I sworn the objective said I had to defeat the other enemy empires. And it did not say anything. Again, I could be completely wrong, but I, I felt like it didn't say anything about... Um, having to... Like, you don't have to clear all the all the tops. You don't have to clear all circles, I guess. So, very confusing. But, again, it's, it's okay. Alright, did these things level up yet? Oh, these do respawn. Oh, that's cool. No, it looks like it's going to take a while. Okay, so that's fine. Um, let's see, what do we have here? Let's increase that. Yeah, increase this too. A poison tower... 20 damage. Slow down and burning. Alright, that's pretty darn expensive. What, what do we have? Um, Wizards is 3,000 gold straight up, huh? And then the Apprentice. As a student of dark arts, can raise zombies from the creatures he kills. That's cool. 3,500, and that's wood and food. I think I'll get I think I'll get one of these. That's gonna be okay. Okay, time to move our army in and take this out. Is that a golem or something? There we go. Hey, stop licking my guy. What are you doing? That's not normal. That's weird. Alright, we have the wizard. He's gonna join. Ha! Huh? Help conquer. Oh, we got some level ups here too. Sweet. Okay, I think we're gonna build up a wall. So our wizard exists. How's our pumpkin farm doing? Oh, it's getting there. I feel like we have maybe just a. a f oh, wait, 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 wait! Our peasants level up too. They're master workers. That's amazing. Yes, here. Um. 
What does that do? 40% resistance, 25% damage, extra protection. That's neat! I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, can they? Do they have like any extra fighting capabilities? Any better uh, resource gathering capabilities? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I'm taking my time with this, guys and gals, as I'm sure you're noticing. I have new recipes. Wait, what? A recipe? What's a recipe? <gasps> What's this? Camp? You can buy various creatures and mushrooms here? It's your random monster window. Wait, why, why am I not destroying these mushrooms? What are these mushrooms and why were they kept for me? We got a zombie! I love this! This is awesome. Alright guys and gals, I think I found my new favorite RTS. It is quite phenomenal. Um, did I really move all of you up there? I thought I put a couple of you down here. That's fine. Alright, looks like we'll just have to go after the big bad here soon. And I'm okay with that. Oh, we're getting so many recipes. Alright, we're gonna go harvest these. Oh, good! They actually continue to... to level up as well. That's, that's fantastic. Um... Life control cells, extra lives which you can keep, which can keep your important units alive longer. Offensive mindset, 10% damage to all your creatures and buildings that can attack. That's pretty sick. Okay. I'll do one of those. I'm going to put a burning tower here. And I think I'm going to get another couple healers. Some more axe throwers. A few more archers. Uh, a guard or two, and then maybe another horse archer. Alright, our overall strength is higher than he is, uh, strength-wise. We're going to attack from the left side. I feel like that's probably the better plan. So we're going to move everybody over there. Uh, a bank. Generates gold? What? There's our bank. Okay, we'll do that. And that was not enough. Go ahead and throw another one of these out there. Or two. There we go. I wonder what new recipes are. Like, there's nothing more here. Oh. Oh, that's that's weird. Alright, um... Do, do they actually have new... Is that, or is that just something they say when they uh, up, update or upgrade themselves? That might be the case. I'll take a couple of you, put you in here as well. Hopefully you'll go after some food. Alright, it is time for our final onslaught, guys and gals. We're essentially just going to do this... I'm going to say this one-off episode, that's not what I mean. Uh, we're just going to do this one battle in this episode, and then we'll move on to the next thing and the next thing and so on and so forth. So, let's go. It is time. He... well, I say he didn't last that long, but he's still alive somehow. I would like to get these burning things down here if we can. We did it, the monster is gone, we are superheroes. Rejoice and be glad in it. I feel like we might have overweighted for that, but there it is, our sweet, sweet victory. Alright. Hunting for a mago or the monster. Okay, that's that's what it was. Alright, so I had to defeat him, that makes sense. See, I totally forgot about him. I thought we just had to defeat other enemy uh, empires. Well, there you go. I'm sure I did terrible. And you guys can feel free to let me know how bad I did. I had fun with it. I don't care how good or bad I did. We are a uh, rank 12 healer off of that battle. That was uh, basically the score that we achieved. And, uh, yeah, our victory score and our total score accumulated. Not sure how that... Oh, okay. Whatever, I'll take it. Sweet, let's continue on. Welcome to your personal treasury. Each and every victory will increase your total wealth. Sweet. I have a treasury. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, Scrooge McDuck would be ashamed of us. We're not even close to mounding up like we need. Oh, we unlocked a whole bunch of stuff, though. Is that Ephius, the eco economist? Ugh, that's a rough one. He was, he was a renowned merchant before he was crowned king of the small circle. Love it. His acumen with resources allows him to find gold anywhere. And he starts at the bank. 
400 gold, four workers, plus one bank. Each claim circle gets one gold pile. We have Barandor, the builder. There's a genius engineer who elected to lead his people after inventing a cost-effective way to produce golems. Can recruit golems instead of knights. And you get one extra wood wall whenever you claim a tile. Sentia, the spellbound. I love the uh, alliteration in this. It's great. An ancient empire-wide spell allows your workers to harvest resources at double the speed, but turns them into pumpkins if they stop working for 12 seconds. What? That's terrifying. No, don't do that. Harold the Hardy, an emperor who enjoys a truly gritty challenge, starts with minimal resources in a single worker. Ooh, that's rough. Laura, the life giver. Laura was chosen to become the leader of her circle after she provided everyone with universal free access to healers. A privilege that used to be reserved for only the rich. You start with three healers, and you get one extra gold pile. The map, the, the map size is now four circles, so I guess it's four by... Four, maybe? Uh, extra small? Or maybe there's only four as opposed to nine. Uh, the extreme difficulty has been unlocked. You will face very strong enemies straight from the beginning, and it will prove to be a serious challenge. And then Monster Hunt. Pseudogar the Sorcerer. A powerful sorcerer that has lost his mind, becoming a danger to the whole area. It started after he constructed a crystal eyeball to see what goes on below the mountains. There will be 16 circles. Okay, so I kind of have uh, some new information now. It appears we're not going to start the new game just yet. But it appears that whoever you select, right? The monster hunt is going to be like a series of different scenarios where you go and you basically hunt down a monster, right? So you can clear out all the other tiles if you want to or circles if you want to. And then eventually it ends when you fight the final boss, the monster as it were then this looks like this is just kind of like a normal campaign, conquer everything to win, and then I guess this is more difficult, so we're going to be up against uh, computer-controlled opponents that are going to also try to be conquering everything. Whereas this, people are probably going to be sitting in their own little region, and then be like, oh, people are building up on our borders, and they're going to come across and attack us if we do that, or if we attack them, you know, fight to the death type situation. So, very cool. Very, very cool. I thought I was going to like this game. I actually like it even more than I anticipated. So, the game, once again, is called Circle Empires. It's by Luminous and Iceberg Interactive. Released on August 8th, 2018. 10% off until August 15th, 2018. Go check it out, guys and gals. It is a fantastic game. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I think you guys will as well. Um, I imagine with all the difficulty settings, you can find one that fits you, you know, very, very well. Like right now. I felt like that was a little bit easy even for me, but I'm also glad that it's not insanely difficult to where I want to pull out my hair and smash my head into the keyboard. So that's pretty good. Anyway, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff down below in the description of the video will be various links like always. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, give me that like, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to the channel for more content like this and tons of other stuff. And until the very next episode, folks, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for checking out The Freak Show, and I'll see you later.